Hey guys, welcome to Rocket Tears. We're here. We're not here to This is uh, Canada for the F2 Grand Prix. Straight away, we've got Spinner there. Brew qualifying is Sam on pole, Joe second, and I believe that was Gun in P3. Here we go then for ten red lights at the Canadian Grand Prix. We're under away we go. We had a terrible for qualifying, but someone jumped the start there. That's Jackie Boy. Got a drive through penalty already. Heading into turn one, then hopefully Taylor and clean. Heading into turn two, then Egon on the inside. Almost at the back of Chris there, we're getting very close to our teammate early on. Egon's had a great start getting past both me and Chris early on. He's side by side with Brian. We're being dived by Jackie Boy. It's contact between the pair of us. Jackie Boy's in the wall. And I'm afraid that's probably his doing. I left him enough space there. Now it's up against his left hand. Are we going to send it on Egon? Yes, of course we are. Egon gives us the room there. But hopefully that we can get our better exit out the corner. Yes, we do. Egon really messed it up slightly. Side by side with Egon then along the start. Of, well, along this back straight. To get past Egon. In front of us, Chris versus Brew. It's his right left. It's very tricky to go side by side through here. Chris forces off Brew. Brew continues off the track though. Still side by side between the pair of them. Chris gets the move done though. Now into the half and we go into his right hand. Is Brew going to take about a move on from Chris? No, he does not. So let's focus on getting Brew here then. Round the half and we go on the exit. Who is going to make the move here? Is it us going on Brew or Brew is going to get Chris? We have great straight lines to be compared to Brew here. Much better exit. There's a bit of lag involved here. Come on, teammate, move over to the left and we give us a slipstream. Yes, he does do that. We get past Brew in P6. That is a great start for us in this Grand Prix. Oh, Chris missed up the chicane. That's definitely a penalty there, if not a warning. He got that massively up or inside, though. It's Brew, surely not. No, he thinks better off it into a turn one. We go then. Chris, though, our teammate is in front of us. That is crucial at this point in this Grand Prix. I can really do it getting past Chris here. Eyes on the exit. Chris loses the rear and he's gone around. Bad news for high tech, but good news for us because we're in P5 now. And next up is someone else. Meanwhile, the battle between Chris further back, who lost all this time. Egon's losing time as well. Egon's lost the rear. Egon's taken out our teammate, who's gone around as well there. No one getting past both of them there, but that's bad news for us. Well, for the high tech boys, anyway, for Chris and myself. Now, all over the back of Illegal. Here we go then. On to this start and finish straight we go. Not really close enough to Illegal this time round. Someone's in the pits, it's Sam. Sam's pitted early then, Rids P4. Now moving on then, when are we going to pit? That is the crucial point, we're telling our pit crew in this lap, but you know what, I'm thinking we do the opposite to what Eagle and Gun do in front of us. Just because they don't want to get held up in the pit lane. They're all pitting, we're going to stay out, oh my god, we've just about made that apex, we probably should have pitted there. That was way too late, had anticipation, we should have committed to that corner a little bit sooner. But I tell you what, we're in the pits next time round. Who wants going to make the difference then? Gun's already got past us. Illegal's got past us now. It's now. going to be very close to me and tires. Illegal here. We're on the fresher tyres. So we should actually be able to catch up to Illegal here quite comfortably. On the exit of turn two, we go then. The gap is only 1.1 to Illegal. And I expect that a lap, well, it's lap eight at the moment. Let's see how long it takes us to catch up to Illegal. We get a warning there for track limits as well. We've got to be mindful for that. Especially around this track. Track limits could definitely win this race. Or lose this race. Now, this battle P5, us versus Illegal. Who is going to get this done then? Oh, we're so late on the brakes compared to Illegal. We got the inside of Illegal. Illegal gives us the room there. Fair enough. Now, we're going to go around the outside of Illegal just like that. He actually let us through a little bit here. He lifted out the, out the corner to let us get the advantage. Now, we've got the DRS. And that is the position done into P5 once again. Here's the move for the replay camera. As you can see, it's very late dive ball from us. Illegal, fair enough, giving us the space. Oh, he actually clipped the grass there. So maybe, uh, and then he did kind of let us through because... He knew we were fast straight away, he had the fresh cup, had a tyre, he's maybe thinking he can stay in the slipstream. Well I can tell you what, he lost the slipstream as you can see in this image here. He's a long way behind, we're closing up to Gunner, again I believe that is. Coming out of this corner, oh we've hit the wall there, that's damage, we have got damage now then. The Ranger of this race, let's see what we can do, even with this damage available to us. As uh, yes it is Gun who's next up, with a lot of penalties this Gun though. In the pits is uh, failing Tomcat, he's been very quick now. The rest is race on those uh, super softs. See what he could do and see if he can catch up to this guys. Oh, there's a safety car. Okay, that's changed things. We're going to stay out because I believe this safety car is only one lap. And I think if you pit now, you'll be out of the race. However, Gun decides it's going to box right now. That is a bad move in my opinion. Anyway, Gun, here you have it. Yeah, very late call into the pits, but he chose to do it. Oh, he's fed into the billet. Oh, Gun's got a speeding penalty as well. That's probably the end of this race for Gun with the penalties he's got anyway. Now out of the final chicane we go. At the minute it's Sam with no penalties winning the Grand Prix, but Joe's in front of us, he's got a penalty. And then it's Noah behind us on the Super Soul, so it's the basically about P2, me versus Noah. As long as Sam doesn't make a mistake, who could possibly make a mistake. 
for Joe on six seconds. That's basically the race handed over for Joe on a podium anyway. Now here we go. Is it Gun versus N N Diddy further back? Going to this left, right. Oh, oh, there's no contact. There's a bit of a lag actually. Oh, God's luck is going from bad to worse. There's a bit of lag involved there. That's cost him a, a lot of time and a damage, in fact. Now, a bubble that's on the final lap of the Grand Prix. No, he's putting on all the pressure possible. He knows how important this P2 is for him, personally, anyway. Oh, as into the half we go. We lock up the front. Now, he's going gonna to try to score off the apex. We cover that off, though. Now, it's down to the slipstream because there's no DRS because that safety car can go. So late in this Grand Prix. This DRS could be a different story, but I don't think Noah's going to do it in the slipstream. No, he's just not close enough. That's really frustrating for Noah. Now, just one K to go. As long as we don't get a penalty through here on the last lap. We should be good to get P2 here. And yes, we do. Because Noah's not close enough. He tried his very hardest. Sam wins. Joe, sec oh, Joe gets fourth in the end. We get second. And Noah gets third. That is the podium, as you can see it there. Fair enough to those guys. That was actually a really fun race one. Race 2 should be even fun. Chris, our teammate, P11, DNF'd. He uh, retired in the pits, I believe. He didn't crash out. Um, so, yeah, it's unfortunate. The reason this safety car was called because Brew crashed at a very weird place. Um, it was possibly done on purpose. No one has evidence of this, so we're going to have to call it just, you know, as it is. It might be an accident. It might have been on purpose. It was just strange in the corner he crashed. But there you go. Two warnings in the end, and that is crucial going into this next race. So, we can just do that again. Not even get a warning, hopefully, next time around. But we are in the pack. P2, that puts us, what, P7, I believe, for this next one. Which, once again, pretty much as far back as we were before. Because we, we didn't have a very good qualifying, unlike some of these guys, who were doing much faster lap times than us in quality. As uh, Illegal, good showing by Illegal again. Showing great pace and definitely a lot of talent there. He's just going to keep getting faster and faster. So he could be one to look out for in the future. Here we go, then, for the race number two here. We are P7. Alex, 10 red lights once again for the Canadian Grand Prix race 2. That's a long time holding us, and away we go. That's a great reaction time from us. We get a much better reaction time than both Joe and Noah there. Up the inside with three wide into turn one, then. Is Joe going to give us some space here? Just about giving us space. Not a lot of space by Joe. Uh, that's fair enough. We're just going to take it easy then, like we did before. Oh, he's looking up the right side. It's Chris. Chris is looking up the right side here. Or is it Sam? No, it's Sam, in fact. Now into this right hand we go. Sam still there. There's just a bit of rubbing there. We get the position done on Sam. Our teammate is following us through as well. So, thankfully, that's worked out high tech quite nicely. As we're now P7 to P8. Chris making a great start. Overtaking three cars already. In front of us, it's Egon and Illegal. And there's a huge cars like here. This could be a huge crash. If one of these cars lose it or something, we could have some trouble going into this right-hander. Oh, it's it's a mess. It's an absolute mess going through this right -hander. No one's gone off the track. No one's crashed. Oh, it's been a crash between Illegal and someone else. Then Diddy, I think Joe's been involved. I've been involved. Oh my god. That's a pile up and a half. Thankfully, no one's retired, but it is a safety car, which means we can change our front wing. Yes, in real life, I think that would be a red flag. But because no one retired and the fact it was just, you know, we all, we all could just pit, I think that was the only reason there wasn't a safety car. As you can see, the start for Noah was decent, but it wasn't as good as our initial start. Sadly, then we got boxed in with the inside line, and Noah didn't. He's trying to look up the inside illegal, actually, on the curb. Very risky from himself there. On the exit, here he goes. He's into P5 with a good start by Noah. Eye forwards like usual. Now into his right, left chicane. This is where it starts getting interesting. Is he staying right behind illegal, really? I think he should have been closer to illegal, and he wouldn't have thought about the dive bomb with his left hander. And Diddy and Eagle make contact there. That's crucial, actually. If they make contact there, and an illegal and equal contact again. Now, Noah's trying to get a bit of the action here. Surely, Noah knows better than this. Heading into his right hander. Eagle very late on the brakes. Eagle forces off Noah. Oh, it's contact between Eagle and Noah. Joe hits Noah. And as you can see, it's an absolute pile up. I don't know how that's going to work, to be honest. It's just cars everywhere. Left, right, and centre, and a few AI cars go out. Now, on board with the man himself, an eagle, the one who's made a load of contacts in this one. And Diddy makes contact with the uh, the back of Egon. Uh, Egon hitting him, and then there's contact between Illegal and Egon. We know this. Now, heading into his right hand, what happens with Illegal then? Because he was a little bit further up the road than uh, the rest of us, which were involved in this crash. Right, Illegal goes up the inside of Ed Diddy, and Diddy loses on the rear. Egon hits Ed Diddy. And that's those two out in a completely separate incident to what Noah had. There's been like three different incidents here, which caused a huge pile up. Eagle gets away with it. 
to take the lead of this Grand Prix, and the rest of us are all left with this broken front wing, except from Noah, who I think was fine. On board with Noah himself, actually, as he's coming through here. Oh, well, what's happened here? Sam's just stopped. That was bizarre. But through into P4, there goes Noah, and he's very happy about that. As me and Joe, P8, P9, respectively, we've got to try and make our way through the pack somehow. And it's a bunch of AI cars mixed in with fast drivers at the front. So we've really just got to kind of send it, but be very cautious on penalties at the same time. Heading through this, then, let's see what we can do. A that was a terrible, terrible warning there. We shouldn't have got that one. That was a bit embarrassing. Now, here we go then. On the safety car restart, heading into turn one we go. Joe thinking about up the inside. Three, oh, Jackie Boy there. He's very seconds. aggressive, is Joe here. Oh, we, Joe's not really left off at steady space either. He's, he's hit us a little bit. Okay, Joe, you're being very aggressive here. He's touching the AI Jackie Boy again there. Into his right hand, here he goes. Joe gets to move down, and that's crucial for his race. We have to follow him through here. Right now, up the inside of Jackie Boy, just like that, into his right hander. He backs out. There's more contact between Joe and an AI again. That was into Lagos. No, that was Norm, sorry, this time. Norm then makes a mistake out of the corner, though, with this Norm's AI. And thankfully, that gives us the run as well, which means we're going to be following Joe here. Remember this race, probably. As we get up the inside there. Oh my god, there's a crash in front. No one's involved and Sam's involved in this one. We get sideways on the exit as well. So that's not that's great car, car control from us. Keep it in one direction. What's happened here then? Sam is with the ball one behind Noah. It's tipping into his right hand. And what's gonna happen here? Noah's breaking late. And Sam to the back of Noah and around goes Noah. And you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Italy. I'll tell you what, that's payback. How does it feel? Not great. Boom. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, karma. Right, uh, as so Sam, however, did wait up for uh, Mr. Noah himself and let him through. And fair, fair play from Sam there doing that for his race. Anyway, as we picked up a penalty there on the track limits, not that great of a track limit stay for us in this race too. Race one was fantastic, but this one's turning out to be quite bad. Next up for us, that is the Egon, because Joe got past the Egon along that back straight of the RS. Oh, Chris, we spun it. And that's given Joe another, like, free position. And now we have to get past Chris and Egon to catch up to Joe, who is probably going to think about making a break right now. We've got to make sure we get this hammer down then. We have to get past both these guys pretty quickly and ASAP. Otherwise, Joe's just going to say goodbye. Like he's already starting to do as Egon makes a mistake. These two are battling so hard. He's getting past one of them. All right, let's do it right now with the DRS open. And the, uh, well, pretty much just the DRS is going to help us here to get alongside our teammate of Chris. Surely Chris is just going to not fight this much. Egon turns it, we almost lose the car. Chris goes over the uh, chicane there, which gets a penalty for doing so. A bit naughty from the game, we don't give him a penalty for that, as it was said, if you might vote, of to go across that. Now then, into this half, and we go. And our teammate says, you know what, you are quicker, you have the fresher tyres, I've got penalty for days, I'll let you through. Thank you, Chris, I appreciate it. With P4, then Egon's next up, let's see what we can do against Egon. We got DRS as well, which is only going to help us close that gap into Egon instantly. Now then. This is lap 11. We've got a couple laps till the end. Moving on to lap 12 then. Pretty much. That DRS helping us catch up to Egon. Ah, we're using our track limits as well. To catch up to Egon. Through this fast right we go. Both of us always hitting that wall on that wall there. Very easy to do so. Now through this left right chicane. Out the corner we go. We're going to get a much better exit than Egon. And Diddy's out of the race. And more importantly we've got the DRS on Egon. We're going to go up the inside of him. Underneath the, the bridge we go. Up the inside of Egon then. Much later on the brakes. We get the move done. And we're into P3. Is he going to fight back? Of course he is, but he doesn't quite get the momentum he needed. And we keep on to this P3. Now we are absolutely pushing as hard as we can because as you can see, Sam is only 2.2 seconds behind us. We've got to really send it through the chicane. We haven't done. We got a penalty as well. So that is not going to be P2 for us. Uh, sorry, that's not going to be P3 for us. That'll be P4 for us. Coming to the line then. They have it. Gun wins. Joe P2. Sam P3. We're P4. Ah, that's unfortunate penalties wise anyway. As you can see, me and Joe getting the exact same amount of points in, in both those races put together. Basically pointless compared to the championship at this point. Between me and Joe, well that race weekend was anyway. No turning points, no nothing. Let's see how it goes in the future. Unless there's a few penalties in that one, but I don't think there was. Gun did get a few penalties there at the end of the race. He should probably work on that. But once again, it's one of those tracks, Canada, easy to pick up penalties, as you saw from ourselves. As uh, Sam, great job by him. He had a huge crash. Well, he had a couple of crashes there. I do believe Sam actually did get a penalty for one of his incidences with Noah. 
of like a five second penalty I think it was so that in fact might uh, promote us to P3 and I'm pretty sure it did in the end which means we did get more points than Joe I think anyway I'm not certain on this you'll have to look back at the stir reports and the standings etc so um once all that's out the way it'd be very interesting but other than that thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and I'll see you again next time goodbye <laughs>